Hey, man, you want to learn how to mix? Well, get you a pen and pad and sit down. What's up, YouTube? Wavy Wayne here from wavywayne.com, and I'm back at you again with another Wavy Way tip of the day. Now, today, I'm going to keep it real, real simple, man, because I just got a client mix that I need to work on, so I'm going to bring y'all along for the ride with me. I'm going to start this mix from top to bottom. You'll get to watch the whole process. So like I said before, get you a pen and pad and just simply watch, observe, and I'll commentate as I'm working through this mix. And yeah, man, hopefully we'll get it done pretty quick so I can get this sent off to the client, all right? If you ain't already, hit that subscribe button and make sure you go ahead and do that now and hit a thumbs up on this video before we get started. Hey, another thumbs up for the dab. <laughs> All right, so uh, for one, big shout out to the artist ST Lacho that I'm working on his mix. I'm doing a few songs for him, uh, but today I, I just felt like sharing this with y'all, man. So um, here we go. Basically, this is the session exactly ha how he sent it to me. Now, there is a little bit of a rough mix, which is good because it gives me some ideas of where he wants to go with the effects and stuff in this session. So what we're going to do, the first thing that I like to do before anything else is go ahead and do a save as. Now, this is just going to make sure that nothing that I do will affect this original session just in case we need to get back to it for some reason. Now, I'm just going to go up to the file menu here in Pro Tools and hit save as. And I'm going to call this a uh, wavy mix. 1.0. Cool, because I, I like to or number all of my mixes. If I end up coming back to this mix, doing the revisions or whatever, or working on it more tomorrow, then it'll be the 2.0 or 2.5, depending on how much or minor the changes are or whatever. So uh, basically, let's also now, I need to make sure that my hardware buffer size is set appropriately. So I'm going to go up to the setup menu, choose playback engine. And you see, I was doing some recording recently. So right now, the hardware buffer size is set low. I'm going to go ahead and bump that up to 1,024 samples. That should be good. And we're going to hit OK. Now, again, if you're new to the channel and you haven't watched my previous videos about the hardware buffer size, basically, lower hardware buffer sizes um, allow for less latency during the recording process. Um, but higher hardware buffer sizes will give you more processing power, but it does increase the latency. So that means you can have more plugins and more tracks in the session while you're mixing and you don't have to worry about the latency. But while you're recording, you definitely want to make sure that you keep that hardware buffer size low to avoid the latency. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And now we're good. Now let's just go ahead and listen to this track from top to bottom real quick. It's not very long, but let's just go ahead and get a vibe for what we got. And as we're doing this, I'll probably go ahead and start doing some cleaning. Absolutely nothing. Still ain't got a whole lot, but shit is something. Got to thank the Lord for what we have today. Cause when we pass away, all of this has to stay. I gotta keep the bad away. She can get easily carried away. Sometimes I wanna grab the gag spray. Forget about everything the past to say. But I found me a better way. I'ma pull my heart out on these eight away. Listen to what my daddy say. Chingando le makes better day. I was about 14, I've been hustling 10 toes deep, got an F in a TG, but she's so clean, but I can't stop, gotta put a Rafe on three, I don't know why these boys hate on me, I'm just a Mexican getting paid, homie, I'm a Don with say so, I'm getting pesos, I got dreams of daily trips to the bank, me. after 10 years, stuck on that bottle, I'm a brand new man, going full throttle, and I won't be stopped, no, till the world knows, Mr. Mercado, Amador, 
campeón. Cool. And that's it for the song. And I just got started on doing some editing, making sure I'm cleaning up the dead space in between the tracks. Now, of course, you can do it manually like you just saw me doing. But there is also the strip silence, you know, that I use sometimes. If I hit Command U, that'll open up the strip silence. Uh, basically, you see how it already outlines, uh, you know, certain sections of audio here on this clip. I'm just going to raise my strip threshold up until I see only what I want to keep being outlined. And then, let's see, I need to get in here a little bit more. Cool, cool. Maybe raise it up even more because, all right, that is, see, that ain't going to get get gone because of how the clip is cut. But I always add a couple milliseconds on the start and end pad as well. And then we'll go ahead and hit strip. And then I'm going to go ahead and just manually cut that off. And this looks like that probably needs to be manually cut too. Fades on all of that. Cool. Uh, same here. I'm just going to go ahead and fade that up. But editing is super important. So I just select this whole clip with the uh, strip silence window still open. All of that is actually looking pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and hit strip. And we're going to just hit command F. That's going to bring up my universal batch fade window. And I just want to hit 10 milliseconds on those fades. Okay. Now, if I am moving fast for y'all on some of this stuff, it's because I have videos already explaining a lot of these techniques that I'm using. Uh, so if you want more in-depth techniques on certain things like uh, using strip silence or using an EQ or compressor or anything like that that we might go over today, there are individual videos on those certain topics. But um, I'm just going to tackle this session as a whole and roll with it so y'all can kind of see a real time on what I would do. So I'm just cleaning this all up. I love using shortcuts, man. If you don't use shortcuts when you edit in, then you tripping, blood. It probably take you all day to do edits, man. Or do you even edit, bro? Okay. See, this stuff is cool. Cool. We can get rid of some of that. If you want to be an editing ninja, let me know. Leave a comment down below. I'm thinking about doing a, a video soon with like my 100 most useful Pro Tools shortcuts. So if y'all want to see that, go ahead and leave a comment down below and let me know. Uh, and I'll, and I'll, I will go ahead and compile that list soon if I get enough comments. Because it's going to take a lot of work for me to make that whole list. So I got to make sure you want it, baby. So I'm just going through. And I'm, I'm not really listening because I don't really have to at this point. I'm just going to, I'm just cleaning up where I see there are lulls or, you know what I'm saying, dead spaces in this audio here. And then I'm adding some fades. Command F is the shortcut to batch fade. You just got to make a, oops, just got to make a selection over the section that you want to fade. That, that ain't right. <laughs> Get rid of all that. Look, that, 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 boom. Okay, we're moving right along. Now, I could have used, of course, strip silence. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and use strip silence for this. Strip, strip, strip. I'm going to strip all this because it's just taking too long. And then I'm going to just make a big selection. Oh, this one, I don't like how this got trimmed. See, that's the thing with strip silence is that sometimes you still got to go back and, and fix it yourself, which is cool. You know. All this automatic stuff, you can never really trust it 100%. So you have to use your own human judgment. Okay, so just in case I missed any fades. Cool, and then we got a track here. What is on this track? Some very quiet stuff. Let's see, what is that even? Don't let's do that, Joe. Okay, so we got that going on. So we're going to keep that in there. All right, cool. Now, are there any tracks that I can get rid of? Yes. So let's get rid of this record track. Let's go ahead and delete that. Um, I like my master fader being at the end of my session. And it looks like they have all of the vocals kind of routed to uh, this main little bus here, bus three and four or something like that, wherever that is. Okay. Here it is. So all the vocals are being routed and processed here. Um, so I can see what he's doing, some EQ, some compression, some more compression, a bunch of more EQ. Uh, so what I'm going to do is actually 
route this lead vocal because I'm going to start with the lead vocal and, and then I'll work my way through everything else. So, um, actually, let's start with the beat. <laughs> I'm going to solo out this beat at like its loudest part. And I do want to, uh, well, I guess that tempo will work. But I'm, I'm going to solo out this beat at this part when it drops in. And let's just listen to the intensity, see if we can beef it up a little bit, even though it's just a two track. All right, cool. So one of the things that I do want to do is make sure that my gain staging is set appropriately. So I'm going to go ahead and slap my VU meter on my master fader. All right, and actually, let's just hold shift. And I, I want to, we'll keep this on screen, but I'll move it off. But basically, I just want to make sure that I'm averaging. I like to leave my headroom at about negative 18 because ultimately I am going to make this mix a whole lot louder and I'm going to do a bunch of molten stuff. So I got my VU meter set to negative 18. And again, I have a video explaining everything that y'all need to know about how to use a VU meter. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, let's just see where we at with this beat. And I'm going to use the clip gain to make sure that we are uh, hitting the right levels that we need to. All right, so what I did was just set the regular volume back to Unity because I want the if in case I use any plugins on this beat, I want to make sure that the the actual level going into the plugins is going to be around that negative eighteen dB. All right, cool. So now if you notice, some of my kicks in that 808 that within there, they actually are hitting a little bit past the zero mark. Again, this VU meter is calibrated to negative 18 dB. So if it's the needle is jumping up to zero, that means that it's actually um, averaging at about negative 18 dB. But it's going a little bit past that, and that's fine. I like for my kicks and 808s to hit a little bit harder than that, and plus those are like the peaks. It's not really the average. We see that my average is way lower, and some stuff that I'm going to do to this um, uh, two-track beat is going to enhance it and ultimately make it louder. So one of the first things I'm going to do is go ahead and mult this beat. I'm going to start off by duplicating it, right? And I, I just want to make a whole nother copy of the track so everything is exactly the same right now. Um, let's mute the main one. And on the second copy, what I want to do is go ahead and squash it. I'm going to use this maximum limiter, and we're going to get a lot of, uh, uh, we're going to squash the hell out of this. Let's bring this down a little bit, uh, that ceiling, and let's just hear what it sounds like once we start to compress using this maximum. All right. So using that maxim really adds some punch uh, to that beat uh, with, with, by squashing it down. Now, what we're going to do is just use a little bit of that in the mix. So I'm going to turn that down, and we're going to just add this back into the mix here uh, with the unprocessed beat. And let's see where we at with that. Ah, oh, yeah, I like that. Now, I'm going to do it before and after where I mute it and take it out. Um, but what we'll hear is that we are getting increased uh, dynamics and depth uh, by, by using this uh, kind of parallel compression technique. Man, to me, it's, it feel like the beat goes from being kind of flat to just being a whole lot taller and, and more dynamic and more present. So um, I'm really liking what we are getting out of that. So um, we can even take this a step further and let's mold this out again, right? And basically what I'll do is go ahead and slap a EQ on here. So I don't want that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and slap an EQ. Yep. And let's mute all of this. Hopefully you guys are listening on studio monitors and maybe you even have a sub subwoofer uh, because what I'm going to do here is I'm going to roll off using this uh, EQ. I'm going to filter out all the high frequencies and just uh, focus in on my low band. This way I can manipulate the low band of that two track and get some real punch out of the uh, mix.
Cool. So there's there's our low end isolated, and then I'm just gonna go in and grab this plugin that I like called Punch. Uh, this is an Antares plugin, Evo Punch, and then I'm just going to add some uh some flavor in there with this just this one knob, this gain knob. Oh uh, yeah. All right, cool. I like how that's sounding. So now let's go ahead and do the same thing to where I mix this low end uh, frequency in with the rest of the beat. Oh yeah, now we rocking. Now let's do one more notch on this, man. Let's take it up a little bit further and I'm going to do a similar thing. I'm just going to duplicate this beat track one more time. So, so far I have four copies of my beat. This is the main copy. This is uh, kind of compressed. All right, copy. And then I got my uh, uh, punch here, you know, from the low end. And then we're going to add some bite in here. Uh, from what I want to do is really isolate the snare drum on this one. So let's mute uh, those three. And I want to isolate that frequency range around the snare. So let's move that filter up here. Move that one. And... Okay. And let's, let's see how that sounds with everything. And I, I am still using that Evo Punch on there. Without it, it sound like this, All right? But we getting we bringing it out a little more. Okay, cool. Now let's see where everything is at. Without that last track. And then let's just group these in so that we can do a quick uh, A, B. If I mute this, we'll hear how the beat sounded before and after. Cool. Um, I really like what that does. And that's just working with that two-track beat. So I feel like we good for a starting point right there. Let's actually look at our total VU meters and see where we at too. I forgot to glance over there. I gotta keep the bad away. So if you see when we win that 808, that kick is hitting. We are going a couple, uh, a little bit past that zero, but it's perfectly fine. I'm totally okay with that. All right, cool. Now let's address this lead vocal, all right? So let's just go ahead and start with, uh, let's just rename this track, LD Vox, all right? Um, and let's just see what we got going on there. First, again, we see that it's being routed out to this uh, bus. I don't want that. I just want to go ahead and go straight to the main outputs. The, the least buses that I need to use, the better. The fewer buses I, that I use, the better in a mix. And the same for y'all, man. The, all that processing on top of processing can really uh, do something to your mix. All right. So, uh, where we at now? I gotta keep the bad away. She can get easily carried away. Sometimes I want to grab the gas and spray. Forget about everything the past to say. All right, cool. So, uh, I want to get rid of all the processing. No sins on this track. Uh, go ahead, whatever automation is on there. I don't want to use this de -esser. I have a better de -esser in mind, but I will use this auto-tune. Since he's already rocking with this auto-tune, and obviously he likes the settings because he said it like this and sent it to me like that, I'm not going to change it. I'm going to keep this auto-tune just how it is and work from there. Now, if he later decides that, you know, that he wants to change something, then we can. All right, now the first thing I do with my vocal is I am going to grab an EQ. I love the Fab Filter Pro Q3, um, but you can use any EQ that you want to. And obviously, I'm just going to start off with uh, rolling off these low frequencies. 
I gotta keep the bad away. She can get easily carried away. Sometimes I want to grab the gas and spray. Forget about everything the past to say. All right, and then we're a little bright on the high end, too, so I'm going to take some of that off. I got to keep the bad away. She can get easily carried away. Sometimes I want to grab the gas and spray. Forget about everything the past to say. But yeah. I found me a better way. I'm going to put my heart out. Cool. And now that I got that simple, cleaned it up, right? We basically just cleaning it up with that EQ. I ain't doing too nothing too crazy. I'm going to go now and, and use my de I'm going to use the Massey de And it's a pretty simple de I'm just going to turn this reduction up until it sounds good. I got to keep the bad away. She can get easily carried away. Sometimes I want to grab the gas and spray. Forget about everything the past to say. But I found me a better way. I'm going to put my heart out on these 808s. Listen to what my All right, cool. Now let's just go ahead and go to some multiband compression, man. Just as simple as that. Um, if you're taking longer than that with your DS, and then you need to get another DSer. <laughs> All we doing is DSing, bro. All right, now this is where we start to have some fun. This is one of my favorite multiband compressors. Um, it's a MIG DSP. It's, it's included with the uh, MC2000, the ML2000 uh, collection. Uh, but basically, it's a multi-band, four-band, multi-band compressor. And I'm just going to start off with uh, uh, adjusting my low end on here. And you'll see how I work through uh, compressing this vocal. I got to keep the bad away. She can get easily carried away. Sometimes I want to grab the gas and spray. Forget about everything the past to say. So when I get that uh, low end, I pretty much squash it with the threshold pretty hard. And then I adjust the crossover point until it sounds, you know, until I don't want it to sound like it's doing too much effect on the vocal to where I'm taking too much of the lows out, but I do want a good amount. So I was like kind of take it too far and then back it off. I got to keep the bad away. She can get easily carried away. Sometimes I want to grab the gas and spray. Forget about everything the past to say. Cool. And now let's move on to the high frequency, right? I'm just going to do a similar thing here. I got to keep the bad away. She can get easily carried away. Sometimes I want to grab the gas and spray. Forget about everything the past to say. Cool. Now let's attack the, the low mids and the, and the uh, high mids. I got to keep the bad away. She can get easily carried away. Sometimes I want to grab the gas and spray. Forget about everything the past to say. I got to keep the bad away. She can get easily carried away. All right, cool. Now we got a pretty even vocal tone to work with. And now it's all about adding some flavor. So the flavor that I want to go with for this mix, I want to go with the distressor. And 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 you, I do have this vocal muted, I mean solo while I'm doing this because I'm going to bring it in and we're going to make some more adjustments. But I do want to kind of see where we at with this vocal. Now with the distressor, I'm just going to go ahead and use it in an opto mode. Uh, so I'm going to 10 to 1 and then the the... the uh, 10 on the attack and zero on the release will get me there. And I just want to knock off maybe mm, one, two to three dB. Up to three dB is what I usually do with this. I got to keep the bad away. She can get easily carried away. Sometimes I want to grab the gas and spray. Forget about everything the past to say. But I found me a better way. I'm going to put my heart out on these 808s. Listen to what my daddy said. Chingando let makes better days. All right, cool. So we sounding pretty good and full. Let's go ahead and bring this in with the beat and work from there. I gotta keep the bad away. She can get easily carried away. Sometimes I wanna grab the gas and spray. Forget about everything the past to say. But I found me a better way. I'ma put my heart out on these eight away. Listen to what my daddy say. Chingando le makes better days. I gotta keep the bad away. She can get easily carried away. Sometimes I want to grab the gas and spray. Forget about everything the past to say. But I found me a better way. I'm going to put my heart out on these 808s. Listen to what my daddy say. Chingando le makes better days. Cool. That sounds pretty dope. Um, So let's go from there. Next, what I'll do with this vocal. So um, actually, let's go ahead and... Yeah, I'm going to keep on working with this lead vocal for now. Um, I guess the next thing that I would do is add some secret sauce, like maybe go and uh, put the Saturn plug in from Fab Filter. I, I love adding a little saturation on this. What? Why? Why? Oh, that's because I'm on the sands. Duh. All right, so let's go here. Saturn, Fab Filter, Saturn 2. Bing, 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 bing. <laughs> Make sure that if y'all copping any of these plugins or any of the hardware or software that y'all see me use, please use my Sweetwater code, man. I got a link down in the description that'll help out the channel if you shopping with Sweetwater and you use that link, all right? So, now with the Fab Filter, um, 
<laughs> I basically got a secret preset. And if you want this preset, man, you got to join the Wavy Seals Elite. But basically, I'm just going to go over here to the Wavy Adam. Shout out to my, my guy, Adam Long, who helped me uh, to create this preset. Uh, we we worked on this one. He actually, you know what I'm saying, developed it. And then I had to transfer it and all that. But yeah, it's it's a dope little preset. So, But the Fab Filter Saturn, let's just listen to what we're doing before and after. I got to keep the bad away. She can get easily carried away. Sometimes I want to grab the gas and spray. Forget about everything the past is saying. But I found me a better way. I'm going to pour my heart out on these eight away. Listen to what my daddy say. Chingandole makes better days. All right, cool. Now, I like where we headed, man. We headed in the right direction. So now, that's this other plugin that I like to use, too. Let's just see if it'll work. It's the limited Z. It's a limiter. Um, there's just something cool that this does on the vocals. So I'm going to set the ceiling to negative one. And then I'm just using a preset on here. We're just going to use the aggressive mode. Let's just see what happens. I got to keep the bad away. She can get easily carried away. Sometimes... <laughs> Boy! That was dope. This plug-in right here alone just took that vocal from an 8 to about a 9.5. And we're going to take it up to the other uh, step in a second. I got to keep the bad away. She can get easily carried away. Sometimes I want to grab the gas and spray. Forget about everything the past is safe. But I All right, now, I think I am going to increase the uh, auto-tone speed a little bit. Let's just see what happens. I got to keep the bad away. She can get easily carried away. Sometimes I want to grab the gas and spray. Forget about everything the past is safe. But I found me a better way. I'm going to put my heart out on these eight away. Listen to what my daddy say. Chingandole makes better days. I got to keep the bad away. She can get easily carried away. Sometimes I want to grab the gas and spray. Forget about everything the past is safe. But I found me a better way. I'm going to put my heart out on these eight away. Listen to what my daddy say. Chingandole makes better days. Sounds about four. I gotta keep the bad away. She can get easily carried away. Sometimes I wanna grab the gas and spray. Forget about everything the past is say. Uh huh. So I noticed that it started to sound a little bit uh, latent. Um, like I was dealing with some latency and then I noticed that if I go up to the options menu, my delay conversation isn't turned on. Now this definitely happens sometimes, especially when you're working on other people's sessions coming from their system. So just make sure you keep a note of that. Um, I've been in a situation before to where, um, I didn't notice that the delay compensation was off. It just felt like the timing of everything was off. And so what I ended up doing was nudging everything. And then later I found out that it's all because of delay compensation. And man, did I tell you I wasted so much time. So don't do that. Don't be like me. Always check and make sure that your delay compensation is turned on. So let's just hear where we at now. I got to keep the bad away. She can get easily carried away. Sometimes I want to grab the gas and spray. Forget about everything the past is safe. But I found me a better way. I'm going to put my heart out on these eight away. Listen to what my daddy say. Chingandole makes better days. Since I was about 14, I've been hustling 10 toes deep. Got an infinity Jeep, bitch, so clean. But I can't stop. Got to put a Rafe on three. All right, cool. So now I feel like we getting a little bit of uh, that kind of low mid so I'm gonna go back into my multi-band and, and hit that low mid section a little harder I gotta keep the bad away she can get easily carried away sometimes I want to grab the gas and spray forget about everything the past is safe but I found me a better way I'm gonna put my heart out on these eight away listen to what my daddy say chingandole makes better day all right, cool. Now, let's just go ahead and put some of the final touches on here. I love this punch uh, plug-in again, so I'm going to add that on there again, and let's just see what that gets us. I got to keep the bad away. She can get easily carried away. Sometimes I want to grab the gas and spray. Forget about everything the past is safe. But I found me a better way. I'm going to put my heart out on these eight away. Listen to what my daddy say. Chingandole makes better days. Sounds about 14. All right, cool. Now... Uh, now, you see, we sounding pretty good. The, the vocals are still very dry, no reverb or delay or anything that's been added. Uh, so but what I am going to do now is just pretty much copy this, these effects over to this other track. And you know what would be the easiest way is to just go ahead and duplicate this lead uh, track. And then I'll make the adjustments as needed. But it seemed like he's just doing fill-ins here. So they should be pretty much the same. Better day since I was about 14. I've been hustling 10 toes deep. Got it. Cool. Let's get rid of this other track we don't need. Better day since I was about 14. 
I've been hustling ten toes deep. Got an infinity Jeep, and she's so clean, but I can't stop. Gotta put a wraith on three. I don't know why these boys hate on me. I'm just a Mexican getting paid, homie. I'm a don with say so, I'm getting pesos. I got dreams of daily trips to the bank, me. After ten years, stuck on that bottle, I'm a brand new man. Going full throttle. All right, cool. Now let's go for this uh, this double section right here that we got. Um, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to duplicate that track that I started with and we'll adjust from there. I think this one will need some adjustment, though. After 10 years, stuck on that bottle, I'm a brand new man. All right, cool. Let's go and see what we can do here. I know that I'm going to want to squash that mid-range a little bit more and kind of just focus on kind of the highs a little bit uh, uh, on this section. Hey, me. After 10 years, stuck on that bottle, I'm a brand new man. Going full throttle and I won't be stopped, no, till the world knows Mr. Murray. Yeah, and then uh, on our actual EQ, let's just go ahead and roll more lows off as well to make that fit in a little better. Take on me after 10 years, stuck on that bottle, I'm a brand new man. Going full throttle and I won't be stopped, no, till the world knows Mr. Mercado. <laughs> that's hard. That's hard. Once we get to that section, I can't wait to get there. All right, bet. On me after ten years, stuck on that bottle. I'm a brand new man, going full throttle, and I won't be stopped. No, till the world knows, Mr. Mer. All right, cool. So now for this track, I actually wanna uh, let's just add this chorus effect on here. Because I want to spread it out some. So I'm going to go to the doubler. And I like this uh, basic doubler effect. Uh, on me after 10 years. Stuck on that bottle. I'm a brand new man. Going full throttle. And I won't be stopped. No. Till the world knows Mr. Mercado. They go ahead to call me by All right, cool. Um, and then so we're gonna continue this. You know, we we moving fast, but uh, this is how I, I I like to roll when I got that flow. So and I'm working through the session. So here we go. Um, these ad libs. I'm gonna bring this down. We're gonna work on those in a minute. Um, but let's just go ahead and get this next section again. Um, it's the same artist, so there's no don't, no need to reinvent the wheel. I'm just going to uh, pick up where we left off, and if anything needs to be adjusted with the vocals, then I'll do that. Aha, uh -huh. well, <laughs> that one, we definitely got to make some adjustments because we can't have this doubler on there. Yeah. Campion. They gon' have to call me patron. Knows Mr. Mercado. They gon' have to call me patron. I'm a dog. All right, cool. Now I feel like I'm at the point to where I'm ready to start bringing in some of my... Um, uh, effects, man. So I want to hear like some reverbs and delays and stuff now, especially on this section. Um, and I have some uh, some other kind of widening techniques that I like to use. But basically, I'm just going to go to a, another session because um, it's kind of like a template for me. This is a session that I've already been working on. And these are tracks that uh, were just used in that session. So I'm just going to bring them right over here. And they got my reverbs and delays and stuff already set up. So that's going to save me a bunch of time uh, here. That's why I like to use my templates and such like that. We're just going to make sure all those outputs are right. And I know that with this one, one of these tracks is, 
kidding. Let's go ahead and make that active. So let's just see, man. Um, I, obviously, you know, when you are using a template or making adjustments from a template or a starting point from another session, you're going to have to keep in, the, in, in mind that you might have to change some stuff, and that's perfectly fine. It's never going to be a set it and forget it. All right, cool. So let's actually start at the beginning again. So one of the things that I did here, if you notice, I got these. This is my parallel compression chain. I actually am using five tracks of parallel compression. And you can see what plugins I'm using, Maxim, and a few 1176 style um, plugins. Now, if you want to see exactly what I do with that in the breakdown, you're going to have to join the Wavy Seals Elite. That's a top secret information. I can't show y'all nothing more than this. You got to figure the rest out on your own or join the Wavy Seals Elite. Hit me up if you want more details about that. You know the link is in the description. But that's a top secret um, uh, uh, method right there, all right? So I'm going to start off with my lead vocal and I'm going to send over to that parallel compressed chain. I came from nothing, absolutely nothing. Still ain't got a whole lot, but shit is something. Got to thank the Lord for what we have to Whoop, wrong. I sent it to the wrong track. <laughs> I meant to send it to this. Okay, bet. Bus 15. I came from nothing. Whoa. Absolutely nothing. Still ain't got a whole lot, but shit is something. Got to thank the Lord for what we have today. Cause when we pass away, all of this has to stay. I gotta keep the bad away. She can get easily carried away. Sometimes I wanna grab the gas and spray. Forget about everything the past to say. But I found me a better way. I'ma pull my heart out on these eight away. Listen to what my daddy say. Chingando le makes better day. Since I was about 14. I came from nothing. Absolutely. Uh, you know what? Let's go with this other. Let's add some reverb now. I came from nothing. Absolutely nothing. Still ain't got a whole lot. But shit is something. Got to thank the Lord for what we have today. Cause when we pass away, all of this has to stay. I came from nothing. Absolutely nothing. Still ain't got a whole lot. But shit is something. Got to thank the Lord for what we have today. Cause when we pass away, all of this has to stay. I gotta keep the bad away. Now, when I'm finding reverb, I like to have it turned all the way up, and I'm just listening to where something f feels comfortable, and I'll adjust it from there. I came from nothing, absolutely nothing. Still ain't got a whole lot, but shit is something. Got to thank the Lord for what we have today. Cause when we pass away, all of this has to stay. I gotta keep the bad away. She can get easily carried away. Sometimes I wanna grab the gas and spray. Forget about everything the past is safe. But I found me a better way. I'ma put my heart out on these eight away. Listen to what my daddy say. Chingando le makes better day. I came from nothing. Absolutely nothing. Still ain't got a whole lot. But shit is something. Got to thank the Lord for what we have today. Cause when we pass away, all of this has to stay. I gotta keep the bad away. She can get easily get, 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 get carried away. away. Sometimes I wanna Sometimes grab the gas and spray. Forget, forget about, about everything the past is safe. All right, cool. Now I'm gonna go and lock in the tempo because he got a tempo of 144 in here. But that's gonna be double time. I just wanna make sure it's accurate. So let me just solo this beat out and use Identify Beat to lock the tempo in to make sure that obviously my delays are going to be perfectly in time. All right, cool. If you need a tutorial on how to use Identify Beat, again, I have that. Just search my channel, how to find the tempo using Identify Beat. Uh, this tempo, see, he was totally off because the tempo is only 60 beats per minute. Um, even if it was double time, it would have been 120. So uh, let's just go with 60. 
and we're gonna change this into bars and beats. Change that into one bar. Cool, now when I put this uh, delay on, we're gonna sound better. I gotta keep the bad away. Keep the she bad can get away. easily carried away. Sometimes I wanna grab the gas spray. All right, cool. Now for this, I think I want to add some uh, reverb to the delay, actually. Let's see what this sounds like. And I, I don't want to mix it in too much. We're going to keep it at that hall. And then I'm going to put an EQ after that as well to roll off definitely some high frequencies and definitely some low frequencies. Let's see what we sound like. I got to keep the bad away. She can get easily carried away. Sometimes I want to grab the gas and spray. Forget about everything the past is saying. But I found me a better way. I'm going to put my heart out on these eight away. Listen to what my daddy say, makes better I like that. It fills it up. It gives it a vibe, right? That's all that one is doing, and I'm keeping it on the whole time. It is creating a vibe in that mix. Let's roll off a little bit more of those high frequencies to make sure it's tucked in the back. I gotta keep the bad away. She can get easily carried away. Sometimes I wanna grab the gas and spray. Forget about everything the past is say. But I found me a better way. I'ma put my heart out on these eight away. Listen to what my daddy say. Chingando le mix better. I gotta keep the bad away. She can get easily carried away. Sometimes I wanna grab the gas and spray. Forget about everything the past is say. But I found me a better way. I'ma put my heart out on these eight away. Listen to what my daddy say, chingando le mix better day. Since I was about 14, I've been hustling 10 toes deep. Got an infinity Jeep, it's so clean, but I can't stop, gotta put a Wraith on three. I don't know why these boys hate on me. I'm just a Mexican getting paid, homie. I'm a Don with say so, I'm getting pesos. I got dreams of daily trips to the bank, on me. After 10 years, stuck on that bottle, I'm a brand new man. Going full throttle and I won't be stopped, no Till the world knows Mr. Mercado They gon' have to call me Patron I'm a dog Yeah, that part is gonna be fun I'm, I'm gonna, let's say, obviously we're gonna do a long delay Mercado They gon' have to call me Let's put this, uh, uh, secret sauce on there on my bus 15 uh, let's go with that plate, and then let's start off with this, uh, then let's see where we at. Mercado, they gon' have to call me patron. Mercado, they gon' have to call me patron. I'm a dog. Chingo. All right, cool. So let's use a whole nother delay. Um, actually, uh, let's get rid of that. And I'm gonna I'm go to make a new effect. It's called a new lay. <laughs> you can always use a new lay. All right, cool. So we're gonna, <laughs> we gonna go ahead and create that. We still rolling. All right, cool. Whoops. Okay, cool. That's fine. That can stay there. And then for this new lay, let's use the Echo Boy uh, delay. Let's use that Echo Boy. I like this. Um, we're just going to make sure that mix is all the way up to 100 since we send in. And let's just see what happens. Uh, echo time. Quarter note. Mercado. They go ahead to call me Patro. I'm a All right, cool. That's a good start. Um, I might do some stuff to that delay to make it fit in and mix it in better, but I like how it's making the vibe of the record feel as of now. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and let's go ahead and uh, mute. Uh, well, yeah, I'm going to do some mute automation because I don't want that they don't have to call me part to have any delay. I just want to come in at the bathroom part. So um, so we're going to go ahead and turn on the touch automation. 
And again, I have a whole video explaining automation. So if you need an in-depth tutorial on automation, make sure you check that out. So here we go. Um, yeah. Mercado. They go ahead to call me patron. I'm a dog. Chingo. Campeon. They go ahead to call me patron. I'm a dog. Chingo. Campeon. Cool. We sounded good. Now the feedback may be a little bit much, so let's go ahead and turn that down some. The feedback uh, determines the amount of echoes, the amount of repeats you're going to have, so I'm going to just turn that down. Let's listen to what we got. All right, cool. So now um, on this one, I do want to send a little bit over to uh, 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 the plate reverb. Okay, so I'm just going to send some of this delay over to that uh, reverb. And then I'm also going to use this high cut on here to roll off some of those highs and roll off some lows too. Fisher Mercado, they go ahead to call me patron. I'm a dog. Chingo. Campeon. They go ahead to call me patron. All right, cool. So now there are some uh, doubles that go along with this section. So let's not get too carried away um, until we work on those. So same thing here. Um, what I'm going to actually do is this track here. I'm going to duplicate this one twice. And I'm going to use that, those two tracks for my doubles. Okay. And of course, now since these are doubled up I, that doubler plug-in that's on there let's take those off and then let's just pan these and see where we at with that okay well you know what since they are different melodies let's go ahead and keep those doublers on there we just gonna have to work with them a little bit differently okay so I'm gonna keep that on there. Let's work with them one at a time. They go ahead to call me patron. Fisher Mercado. They go ahead to call Fisher Mercado. They go ahead to call me patron. I'm a dog. Chingo. Now, okay, my man's is not the best singer, but, you know, we're going to tuck this in and we're going to make it work because it feels good when it's in there and that's all that matters. So, uh, we it's definitely not going to be up that loud. Mr. Mercado, they go ahead to call me patron. I'm a dog. Oh, uh, you know what? Chingo. Mr. Mercado, they go ahead to call me patron. There we go. Let's see. Fisher Mercado. They go ahead to call me Patron. All right, let's bring this one in. Fisher Mercado. They go ahead to call me Patron. I'm a dog. Chingo. Campeon. They go ahead to call me Patron. All 
Mr. Mercado They go ahead to call me patron I'm a dog Chingo Campeon They go ahead to call me patron all right, cool. Let's uh, also roll off a little more lows. I don't really like these backgrounds, but um, we're going to make it work. Mr. Mercado, they go ahead to call me patron. Because it does help. It adds it adds a special dimension to that section. So um, what we're going to do is we're going we gonna to make them work. Mr. Mercado, they go ahead to call me patron. I'm a Okay, something is sounding weird here. Hmm. So let's let's actually get maybe see what happens. Mr. Mercado, they go ahead to call me patron. Let's take let's go ahead and get rid of that. And yeah, we're gonna remove that too. Mr. Mercado, they go ahead to call me patron. I'm a dog. Chingo. All right, cool. Now, uh, we are pretty much there. Let's just go ahead and address the ad libs and see where we at with that. Um, they call me after 10 years. Free. I don't know why these boys hate on me. Getting paid, homie. I'm a Don will say so. I'm getting paid so. I got dreams of daily trips to the bank, homie. I came from nothing. Absolutely nothing. Still. Now, I actually like what he has, the sound on those um, ad-libs, uh, the route and processing is definitely not what I would have chosen, uh, but he did manage to get a good sound out of the ad-libs. Uh, so if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And so I think that's going to be one of these cases to where I'm probably going to leave that alone and just make whatever adjustments I feel are necessary. I came from nothing, absolutely nothing. nothing. Still ain't got a whole lot. But shit is something. Got to thank the Lord for we. All right, cool. I automatically want to hear some movement on those ad libs. So I'm going to go for my go to movement on ad libs plug in. And then it's the Mondo Mod. All right. Uh, you want to get the Mondo Mod, Mondo, Mondo Stereo. You see, it's already up in my favorites. We're going to set that to manual. We're going to go to quarter note. And yeah. I came from nothing. Absolutely nothing. Still ain't got a whole lot. But shit is something Got to thank the Lord For what we have today Cause when we pass away All of this has to stay I gotta keep the bad away She can get easily carried away Alright cool I feel like I need a little bit Something more touching my um My vocals here So I'm, I think I'm gonna go for a slap delay Let's go for a slap um, And I'm gonna use the Echo Boy for this too Cause I got a nice uh, analog slap that I like to use. Um, and uh, 
Uh, let's try this. I came from nothing. Yeah. I like that. I like that. So we're going to back that off some, cut off some of those high frequencies. I came from nothing. Absolutely nothing. Still ain't got a whole lot, but shit is something. Got to thank the Lord for what we have today. Cause when we pass away, all of this has to stay. I gotta keep the bad away. She can get easily carried away. Sometimes I wanna grab the gas and spray. Forget about everything the past to say. Alright, I think after that beat drop, we need to turn up those uh delays. Cause when we pass away, all of this has to stay. I gotta keep the bad away. She can get easily carried away. Sometimes I want to grab the gas and spray. Forget about everything the past is say. But I found me a better way. I'ma put my heart out on these eight away. Listen to what my daddy said. Chingandole makes better day. Since I was about 14, I've been hustling 10 toes deep. All right, cool. Let's go with an eighth note delay as soon as he come in with that verse section. And this way, we just gonna go with some uh, automation, okay? Uh, here we go. Because when we pass away, here we go. all of this. Listen to what my daddy say, chingandole makes better day. Since I was about 14, I've been hustling 10 toes deep. Got an infinity Jeep, it's so clean, but I can't stop, gotta put a wraith on creep. I don't know why these boys hate on me, I'm just a Mexican getting paid, homie. I'm a Don with say so, I'm getting pesos. Look at dreams of daily trips to the bank, on me. After 10 years, stuck on that bottle, I'm a brand new. All right. After 10 years. That background got too much high frequency, so let's... Filter it out a little bit more. After 10 years, stuck on and let's go ahead and put a, a delay on that uh, the high one. Um, let's uh, steal this from here. Don would say so. I'm getting pesos. I got dreams of daily trips with the bank on me. After 10 years, stuck on that bottle. I'm a brand new man, going full throttle, and I won't be stopped no till the world knows. Me. Don will say so, I'm getting pesos. I got dreams of daily trips to the bank on me. After 10 years, stuck on that bottle, I'm a brand new man. Going full throttle and I won't be stopped, no. Till the world knows Mr. Mercado. They gon' have to call me Patron. I'm a door. Chingo. Don will say so, I'm getting pesos. I got dreams of daily trips to the bank on me. After 10 years, stuck on that bottle, I'm a brand new man. Going full throttle and I won't be stopped, no. Till the world knows Mr. Mercado. They gon' have to call me Patron. I'm a thorn. Chingo. All right, cool. So um, I know that I took that chorus effect off, but it needs something there. Let's widen it. Up Let's uh, tone it up. And, I, and then the same for this track, like, right, it sounds pretty good with whatever he's done uh, with the process. And so um, I'm not going to going to mess with it too much. I'm just going to clean it up. I'm a Chingo. All right, maybe add some uh, delay. Let's add some uh, eighth note delay to that. All right, cool. So now let's have some fun with this mix, too. I'm going to go ahead and, and start to add some stuff to my master fader here. Let's start off with the Shadow Hills uh, Mastering Compressor. I love this. And there is a secret, uh, super top secret, um, uh, 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 
what you call it, setting that I like to use. Um, it's this Master and Loud program. <laughs> Let's go. We need to actually, we need to get the full effect. Obviously, we need to go to a part that's louder with drums and After 10 years, brand new man, going full throttle, and I will be stopped. No, till the world knows, Mr. M brand new man, going full throttle, and I will. I feel like this section just needs something different. So I'm going to move it to its own track. And do something else to it. John will say so. I'm getting pesos. I got dreams of daily trips to the bank on me. After 10 years, stuck on that bottle. I'm a brand new man. Going full throttle. And I will be stopped. No, till the world knows Mr. Mercado. They gon' have to call me Patron. I'm a door. Chingo. I like that one. Campion, they gon' have to call me patron. Campion, they gon' have to call me patron. After 10 years, stuck on that. I gotta keep the bad away. She can get easily carried away. Sometimes I wanna grab the gas and spray. Forget about everything the past is saying. But I found me a better way. I'ma put my heart out on these eight away. Listen to what my daddy say. Chingando le mix better day. All right, now, once you start to get to a point in the mix where it's feeling good and, and now I need to start to kind of glue it together. Um, that's when I, I break out my uh, my limiters on the master and the compressors and stuff. Um, I just want to add some flavor. Actually, I'm going to start off with this rap music uh, 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 limiter to start off. I got to keep the bad away. She can get easily carried away. Sometimes I want to grab the gas and spray. Forget about everything the past. Oh, yeah, that's secret sauce. I gotta keep the bad away. She can get easily carried away. Sometimes I wanna grab the gas and spray. Forget about everything the past is saying. But I found me a better way. I'ma put my heart out on these eight away. Listen to what my daddy said. Chingando le makes better day. Since I was about 14, I've been hustling 10 toes deep. Got an infinity Jeep, bitch, so clean. But I can't stop, gotta put a wraith on creep. I don't know why these boys hate on me. I'm just a Mexican getting paid, homie. I'm a Don with say so, I'm getting pesos. I got dreams of daily trips to the bank, me. After 10 years, stuck on that bottle. I'm a brand new man. Going full throttle and I won't be stopped. No, till the world knows Mr. Mercado. They gon' have to call me Patron. After 10 years, stuck on that bottle, I'm a brand new man. Going full throttle and I won't be stopped. No, till the world knows Mr. Mercado. They gon' have to call me Patron. I'm a door Chingo Campeon They gon' have to call me patron I'm a door Chingo And I would say that right now, I'm about 90% done with this mix. I really just need to spend some time fine-tuning, listening, um, to make sure I didn't miss anything, maybe even get creative in some spots. But, uh, yeah, this is my mix for the most part. I'm going to go through and listen through one more pass with y'all, see if there's anything else to adjust. Um, then I'm going to just kind of take a break for a second to, and then come back to it, see where we at, and finish it up before sending it to the client. They counted me out, but they don't know my name. 
All right, cool. So for that first little intro, I just want to kind of uh, uh, do something different here. I'm going to bring it down to this track. I just want to EQ it a little different. Take some of that low end out. They counted me out. Take some high end out too and turn it down a little bit. They counted me out. But they don't know my name. I came from nothing. Absolutely nothing. Still ain't got a whole lot. But shit, it's something. Got to thank the Lord for what we have today. Cause when we pass away, all of this has to stay. I gotta keep the bad away. She can get easily carried away. So all right, I cool. Let's do a little automation here. When that beat drop, these vocals need to come up a little bit more. So I just simply changed over to my automation lane and I'm gonna write this in manually instead of doing it uh, in real time. I'm just gonna maybe adjust this up by DB and let's see where we at. Cause when we pass away, all of this has to stay. I gotta keep the bad away. She can get. All right, one dB was a little bit too much. Let's try just a half a dB uh, increase. I'm gonna go down. I gotta keep the bad away. There we go. Got to thank the Lord for what we have today. Cause when we pass away, all of this has to stay. I gotta keep the bad away. She can get easily carried away. Sometimes I All right. Let's do some more effects once that beat drops. Uh, maybe even uh, go to my eighth note delay and add a little bit of this in there once we drop. I gotta keep the I gotta keep back the up a little bit. Cause when we pass away, all of this has to stay. I gotta keep the bad away. She can get easily carried away. Sometimes I wanna grab the gas spray. Forget about everything the past is saying. But I found me a better way. I'ma put my heart out on these eight away. Listen to what my daddy say, Chingandole makes better day. Since I was about 14, I've been hustling 10 toes deep. Got an F in the TG, bitch, you so clean, but I can't stop, gotta put a Rafe on creep. Since I was about 14, I've been hustling 10 toes deep. Got an F in the TG, bitch, you so clean, but I can't stop, gotta put a Rafe on creep. I don't know why these boys hate on me. I'm just a Mexican getting paid, homie. I'm a Don with say so, I'm getting pesos. I got dreams of daily trips to the bank, on me. Don with say so, I'm getting paid. I don't know why these boys hate on me. I'm just a Mexican getting paid, homie. I'm a Don with say so. I'm getting paid so. I got dreams of daily trips to the bank, homie. After 10 years, stuck on that bottle, I'm a brand new. All right, cool. This section, I took out a little too much lows. After 10 years, stuck on that bottle, I'm a brand new man. Going full throttle, and I will be stopped. No. Don will say so, I'm getting pesos. I got dreams of daily trips to the bank, hold me. After 10 years, stuck on that bottle, I'm a brand new man. Going full throttle and I won't be stopped, no. To the world, after 10 years, stuck on that bottle, I'm a brand new man. All right, let's go automate some of this. After 10 years, stuck on that bottle, I'm a brand new man. Going full throttle and I won't be stopped, no Till the world knows Mr. Mercado They gon' have to call me Patron Alright, let's uh, brighten this section up Just so it seems a little bigger uh, Once we get over there I'm gonna add a, a band here Let's change it though to a shelf Mr. Mercado They gon' have to call me Not so much, man I don't like that chingo. That's the main part. Let's see if we got that again. Let me see. Mercado, they go ahead to call me patron. I'm a don. Chingo. Campeon. Chingo. All right, so this ching right here, I'm going to just swap it out with that other one. Um, real simple. I just copied that one little section 
And I'm just copying and pasting it over here because that one was a little pitchy. Chingo. Beautiful. Mercado. They gon' have to call me patron. I'm a thorn. Chingo. This little section here is hitting a little hard. Let's turn those down. Oh no, not that much. All right, now I see what it is too, is that this one is coming in so early. Let's do that. Cool, and then for this, we'll just do a fade out on these actual tracks. Let's make that fade out a little longer. All right, child, so you got to see how I would work on a client's mix pretty much from start to finish. Um, if you like this video, make sure that you thumbs up. And if you need professional mixing services, visit wavywayne.com, fill out my form so that you can get a quote and I can start working on your project next, all right? All right subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe, man. Thanks for watching. Be dope.